Hello YouTube, this is Daniel Master and I'm pipe maker from Croatia. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we have a really sensitive topic, so uh, I would suggest uh, you to keep in mind that what I say is an opinion, it's only my opinion. And uh, what I have found out on the internet regarding the topic of this video, um, those are scientific uh, data that I cannot argue about. So, without further ado, let's move into the video. So, benefits of smoking a pipe. A pipe, if made well, it can help us slow down the speed that we are moving through this crazy world. It can also serve us as a tool to, to seize the moment for ourselves. Uh, to help us and allow us have some time for ourselves. In a way, it can save a moment in time as crazy as this. And uh, it's a tool that is fairly different from other tobacco using products. I will try to cover some questions here, especially how to use a pipe and uh, some of the conclusions that some of the researches uh, showed. There was a one research made and it was published in March 2012. that actually concluded that smoking a cigarette is the highest risk of getting cancer among all pipe smoking uh, devices, let's say like that, or products. And uh, after that came cigars and after that snuffs and stuff like that, chewing tobacco. And at the latest, the, the last position there was uh, a pipes. Seems like pipes are the least problematic product related tobacco usage. And check out uh, the researches in the description of this video, I will link them there so you can read about that. A risk of getting cancer is about 60 times higher than if you are using pipes. Seems like a risk of getting cancer when you are using pipes is around equal or even less than from non-smokers. That means if you take into account um, an average lifespan of a human being right now, it seems that if you are smoking pipes, you will actually live about three years longer than a non-smoker. How can that be? Well, if you look carefully how 
pipe smokers are smoking in compared to cigarette smokers for example cigarette smokers inhale their smoke and uh, seems that the surface the smoke is covering when you are a cigarette smoker is a bit uh, is around 100 times bigger than the surface the smoke is covering when you are smoking a pipe and that is in direct correlation with uh, addiction on nicotine because when, when you are smoking a pipe you only have your mouth in the play because pipe smokers that do not inhale they are usually having the smoke only in their mouth so the biggest risk with pipe smokers is to get a problem with their mouth uh, their lips and time in compared to cigarette smokers that introduce the smoke all the way through to the lungs that have a really big surface so uh, that is one risk one problem and the other problem is Tobacco for pipes is usually a higher quality tobacco. Meaning that most of the tobacco for pipes is produced in Europe that has, from what I know, that has uh, strict, really strict laws on uh, what should be put into the tobacco for pipes. I have done a little bit of researching and found out that a lot of additives and a lot of chemicals are introduced into tobacco that is used for making cigarettes. So when you are smoking a pipe tobacco, using a pipe, you are actually using a better quality tobacco. And you are using it differently. Cigarettes are usually burning a lot hotter than pipe tobacco. And um, chemicals that are produced when smoking a cigarette are different from chemicals that are produced when you are smoking a pipe. Pipe smokers want to have their pipes smoke really really or burn really really cool in order to have more taste because they are running for the taste of tobacco and cigarette smokers because they are kind of addicted let's face it they run for a nicotine kick because they inhale in their lungs and because lungs have a really big surface. So what can we do to even more minimize the risk of cancer when you are using pipes? Well, we can for example maintain the dental health really well we can go to dentists check our mouth check out teeth we can go a regular checkouts of our whole body then what we can do we can use high quality tobaccos not those that say a perfect value super whatever you know use a branded tobacco that burns really really cool for you and that tastes good for you because when it is burning cooler it will not hit your mouth hot it will hit 
your mouth cooler and you will uh, save the protective layer in your mouth a bit better. You can also smoke pipes that smoke cooler for example calabash pipes, reverse calabash pipes or in general those that smoke cooler and drier. What you can also do is to drink something while you are smoking because smoking will dry out your mouth. So what is normal and considered okay is to drink a strong drink like brandy or stuff that might not be the best um, way to do it because alcohol destroys the protective layer in your mouth so what you want to do is actually to drink a glass of water tea warm tea not hot one coffee or stuff like that that is not so hard on your mouth to start with you can rinse your mouth after you are done with smoking that will also um, keep your mouth cleaner and um, if your mouth for example is sore or your throat don't smoke that day you know wait until you have a healthy mouth when you don't have wounds in your mouth like for example you choose on something and you accidentally chew, chew on your uh, for example tongue and you have a wound there that happened to me a couple of days ago so uh, you don't want to smoke on those days Also, when you are smoking, you don't want to smoke like crazy. You want to sip on it. Not like I'm doing right now, because I'm talking and smoking. And usually my pipes go down when I'm talking and smoking, so I have to relight it a couple of times, which you want to actually avoid, because it will destroy the quality of your tobacco, and tobacco will lose the taste yeah, you get the picture. You want to smoke it slower. Personally, what I figured is that when you are smoking, you are actually losing some vitamin C. And I was not sure about that. I noticed that a couple of years ago. And then I found recently on internet that that is actually true. You lose some vitamin C and what you want to do is to supplement some vitamin C even some vitamin A and some selenium, which is helpful even if you are not smoking. What you also want to do is when you are smoking, don't just smoke, smoke it on one side. Change the positions. Why? Because if you change positions, then the smoke that is going out of the stem, it will not hit the exactly same position in your mouth. You want to change that position so that you don't burn a specific area in your mouth only. You want to relieve the stress in your mouth. One of the suggestions is also not to smoke too crazy, you know. Don't smoke like 15 bowls per day, which is a lot. You want to be in between a couple of pipes per day. I am personally using pipe or two per day right now. So it is considered really, really acceptable. And um, one more thing, when you are smoking a pipe, you are supposed to enjoy it. If you are not, think about um, another ways to seize the moment like having a, a glass of wine with your wife or a man at the evening you know in front of the fire or whatever that will also help you uh, slow down 
And actually, a glass of wine is beneficial, even if alcohol is also kind of, you know, poison. But that's how it is. It's proven that actually a glass of wine or even two during meals or in the afternoon or evening, it's beneficial for you. So why not a pipe? It can also be beneficial, in my opinion. One thing you want to consider also is that you want to keep your pipes clean. If you don't clean this part or inside, if you smoke it wet, then it can happen that you suck a little bit of that moisture inside of your mouth. And that moisture is mixed with nicotine and tars and stuff that are kind of nasty, that will destroy the, the taste of the tobacco and also they are really really bad for your mouth so when smoking try to smoke it dry try to smoke a clean pipe okay well I think after recording this video for a couple of times now and deleting every one of those recordings because the, the topic is really really sensitive I hope I will be able to produce a video that is having some sense. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please like, please share it among your friends and uh, have fun. Bye bye my friends.